Now we're coming to you from PA Biodiesel Supply. Um, this is the ultimate force uh, centrifuge owner's guide. You bought one, it's been delivered. Okay, let's take the cardboard out. Okay, heater, all the fittings, instructions are in this box. There's the centrifuge. Okay, it's all put together. You just have to reverse the legs, okay? Okay, this is everything that came in the box. Okay. What you're going to need, a lot of guys are using Teflon tape, and there's a Teflon tape for oil. I use gas oil, okay, for the threads. Um, and you're going to need three Allen wrenches, a four millimeter, an eight millimeter, and a three sixteenth. Okay. Okay. Here we go. The fittings aren't in the heater, and this is pretty much what you want. You're just going to put a hose barb in the bottom. This will be the intake. Uh, you're talking close nipple. T hose barb and then the threaded part for the temperature proof thermocouple okay now remember all these have either been taped or thread sealants on it okay so there's the heater it's put together and ready to go okay these are the fittings and again, they come in bags. You just have to thread them in, seal them, and thread them in. This is the clean oil return, and this is the contaminated oil return. Okay. They get threaded in like so. Okay, that's a vent. And then the contaminated oil gets threaded in like so. Okay, nothing will ever come out of the contaminated oil until you shut down. So whatever's in the bowl, our bowl holds a little over half a gallon, that's what will be flowing out of there. There's your instructions, there's our hose for the heater, to our inlet pipe on the centrifuge. On the hoses, use uh, fittings, okay, or hose clamps, I'm sorry. Okay, let's... Like I said, the legs just need replaced. Okay, it's easy enough. Loosen them up. Take them out with your fingers. As long as you're holding the legs, you can pretty much take it out with your fingers. Okay. Now we're going to put the heater on this leg. So we're going to flip it over. Again, to holding it. I'm threading it in with my finger so I know okay the heater this is probably the easiest way okay the other hole get the heater started just uh, fat fingers and a small space guess the allen wrench would come in handy okay don't real tight just snug it down pull the other bolt out back out Swing it into place. Okay, set it up. I kind of missed out on the two breather tubes. Let me grab them over here. Yeah, these will be included with uh, your order. Okay, and they are for forced ventilation. And basically, as the centrifuge is, come, is running, it sucks air in. Okay. That 
is literally what you do. You're pretty much ready to rock and roll. Now, this is a 230 heater, okay? So, you will have to put, or no, it is a 110. You'll have to put the plug on, which is included too. But, you're pretty much ready to do oil. Um, trying to think. We have it set up on a tote, and we're going to go, we're going to reshoot that again for this series, okay? But we're going to show you bowl removal, the whole nine yards, okay? We just wanted to show you how easy it is to set it up. Uh, like I said, the only thing you're putting together, the fittings, attaching the fittings to the heater, um, you're reversing the legs. Um, if you have the thread sealant or the Teflon tape, if you use white Teflon tape over time, it will start to seep. Nothing big, but just enough that you'll be wiping it off every couple days of use. That's all. It's not going to be dripping. Um, so I, I moved. I started with uh, the white Teflon tape when we were, you know, using our stuff, and we just moved into the threaded sealant, you know. So if you don't have it there, the, th uh, the Teflon tape's going to work fine for you. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You're up and running. Yeah, well, you know, your centrifuge is built and it can be used. Uh, you got a bunch of movies to this series. Like I said, we're going to show you bowl removal, um, the bowl mount removal, the whole nine yards. Again, we're PA Biodiesel Supply, home of the ultimate force, centrifuge. Thank you.